welcome to Hi-Fi Collective. Today we're going to be dismantling the jumbo switch, which you will need to do if you're building the stereo one. Because basically the resistors come in this side on the second layer. So obviously to access the point there to solder, you've got to get the board off. So first thing to do, to turn the switch all the way anti-clockwise, so the lowest setting Put it in the vise. You have to keep it at that setting all the time because you mess up the connections. So unscrew there, unscrew there. Lift off like that. So now this side is easy to access. All the resistors are fitted that side, so you can solder here, no problem. Just on several couple of notes about this, the resistors have to fit in the actual circle like that. And don't make any assumptions as to how these are sequenced. You must read every single resistor number. So put that back there. And then for this, you've got to be very careful not to turn this while you're putting all the resistors in this side. So on this side, the resistors go in this way. They go that side. Yeah. <laughs> these do fall out, these, so probably worth taking them out. I've already, one's already fallen out anyway, but they have to go back in when you fit it back together. Right, to fit it back together, make sure it lines up. The elm and the elm is that way. You have to put these washers back in, which is always a fiddly job. So they go there. Always a good idea not to have loads of stuff on your desk because you will lose these little devils. No problem. Just give them a little push like that. It helps them stay on. Now like that. These, this comes in two parts. Just try and keep it together. Push it in. So, turn it around slowly. Oops, it fell off. Another, another way of dealing with it is to put the damn washer on the actual screw like that. Hopefully the other one will stay in. Just do brilliant. Let's go in there. Let's pick up your screwdriver. Tighten up. Your way. So, just to recap, if you'd built this switch. All the resistors will be sticking up this way on the first layer. Now make sure you bend quite close to the body. You can use a screwdriver to bend the wires like that. So that'll still be fine because you do not want this wire touching the, the panel, the front panel. Maybe that's a bit too much. And then so that's that side and on the other layer the resistors will be fitted that way around. Because there's no way you're going to fit a resistor in between the gap. Cool. Good luck.